Let's talk about celecoxib. This is a name that you may not hear often, but what you might hear used as most often in the U.S. is Celebrex. So Celebrex is a medication that you will give, and the reason is, is that it's very specific to one disease, okay? And that disease is rheumatoid arthritis, okay? It's also given for osteoarthritis and acute pain. Its uh, therapeutic class is anti-rheumatic or NSAID. What does anti-rheumatic mean? Well, rheumatic really refers to rheumatoid arthritis. Okay, so anti-rheumatic means that it, it it really works against rheumatoid arthritis. NSAID, we know NSAID is non steroidal anti-inflammatory, so we already know some of the things that we need to understand about that through drugs like ibuprofen and things like that. So we know a little bit about NSAID, but let's talk a little bit about this anti-rheumatic. So what it does is it decreases pain and inflammation by inhibiting the synthesis of prostaglandins. Now, if you remember, prostaglandins are what lead to inflammation, they lead to fever. And so if we inhibit the synthesis of these prostaglandins, we can help control that pain caused by rheumatoid arthritis and osteoarthritis. We can also help kind of decrease that swelling that these diseases obviously cause, okay? So pharmacologic class, it doesn't really have one, but nursing considerations that we want to keep in mind, okay? Remember, we're dealing with an anti slash NSAID, okay? So we want to keep in mind some of the exact same things that we deal with when we're talking about NSAIDs. Things like the fact that it can cause GI bleeding. That's a really important one to keep in mind. And you want to let your patient know that if they experience any new onset abdominal pain or black stool, that that could be a sign that could be melana, right? Melana is, is blood in the stool. And if they know, or, or if they have incredibly new um, change in the, in the smell of their stool, that it becomes incredibly smelly, that could be the melana, right? Now, if you've ever experienced a GI bleed, if you had a patient who has had it, well, maybe not personally, but if you've ever experienced a patient with a GI bleed, you will never forget that smell. It's something that when you walk on the unit, you can turn and you can say, hey, so what, what room number has a GI bleed? Okay, and so you'll know that automatically, but you want to let your, let your patient know about this too, that this can lead to GI bleeding. Okay, that's what NSAIDs can do. It can also, um, we also want to use caution in any patient that has cardiovascular disease, and we want to let them know that it can increase our risk for MI, CVA, thrombosis, okay? These um, coagulation type diseases that we can increase the risk for that, okay? Another thing that it can cause is Stevens-Johnson syndrome, which is this kind of disease of the skin and mucous membranes. And what it does is it kind of leads to this um, inflammation, the swelling, this blistering, and they can even lead to sloughing off of the skin. Okay. So if you want to understand what this is, simply type in Stevens Johnson syndrome in Google, click on image search, and you will have a very good idea that will never leave your mind about what Stevens Johnson syndrome is. It can also lead to dermatitis. Okay. So those are the, the really big nursing considerations you want to keep in mind here. The Celebrex, Celecoxib, the, just that name, it's pretty unique. And so I really want you to keep in mind that just that, that kind of unique name, Celecoxib, is an anti-rheumatic, which means uh, rheumatoid arthritis. So we're really dealing with this osteoarthritis, this rheumatoid arthritis, this swelling, um, and this pain because it's an anti-rheumatic NSAID. Okay, so that's what we need to keep in mind, and that is Celecoxib. This has been another episode of the Med Master Podcast, brought to you by MedMasterCourse.com and NRSNG.com. My name is John Haas, RN, CCRN, student nurse mentor, and your biggest fan. If you're ready to demolish nursing pharmacology once and for all, head over to medmastercourse.com and use the coupon code PODCAST to save 15% on lifetime membership to MedMaster Course. MedMaster Course is packed full of 30 plus hours of HD video and audio content with tons and tons of free cheat sheets and downloads. Demolish nursing pharmacology. Never guess a med again. Go to medmastercourse.com. Coupon code podcast. You guys know what time it is now. Go out and do something great. Happy nursing. Happy nursing.